Yeah, I think that's subject, you know, to how things play out, man. We got, you know, we got him up. Uh, you know, we want, I didn't want him to go out there for five outs. Um, but I, you know, the way I saw Finn and, you know, and then I, the frustration after the little ground ball, I thought it was, it was time. You know I mean, cause he was frustrated and he made a good pitch. And like I said, it was just a ground ball in the infield. So, uh, but, um, Randy, Randy was the man today. I mean, he really was. I mean, he took ownership of, of the last outs and, uh, and pound the strike zone. It was awesome. Very good, very good. I mean, you know, his pitch count was up a little bit in the first inning, and then he settled down. Um, the sun ball, you know, really, really, um, to me, you know, when we think about it, you know, after that sun ball, which was should have been an out, it was uh, 14 extra pitches, you know, so that cost him an inning. You know, we were hoping that um, we thought that maybe he can go, you know, uh, six plus force, and um, because of because of that, you know, it was 14 pitches. Um, it was tough, and he had 92 pitches when we took him out, so. That was good, but um, like I said, he's he's getting better. He's trying he's he's starting to figure things out. Um, he's making adjustments, you know, on the mound. Um, like I said, R Riley Adams again did a really good job catching today and catching him, um, getting him to, to can just control his emotions and getting him in the strike zone when he needed to. Um, and I thought he did a great job with that. Oh, he, he's progressing really well. Um, and he's matured a lot. And you know, like I said, um, uh, you know, for him, the training wheels are off, right? I mean, uh, you know, all, all, you know, although he hasn't got up to that hundred pitch mark yet, um, he, he's competing and he's keeping us game. He's keeping us in games. Uh, and, uh, and it's nice to know that, you know, now it's nice to know, you know, for, our, for our guys that playing behind him, you know, we have a chance to win every time he goes out there. So that's pretty awesome. You know, and, and these guys really feel that and they, they, they're going out there and, um, and trying to score some runs for him, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, I like it, but you know, once again, you know, we're gonna we're gonna drill him, uh, especially in the bullpen. He needs to start throwing that change, him, you know, especially against left-handed left-handed hitters. Uh, first inning example, you know, one out to, to Blackman, and they try to throw another fastball to him, and and you know, he's leading off the game. He knows what he's looking for in that situation right there. Uh, uh, you know, it would have been a great opportunity for him to just show him a changeup because that that changes the way he thinks. The, you know, the rest of the day. Um, but he went up and threw a fastball and, and Blackman's a good hitter and smoked it, you know, so that's something that, you know, like I said, we'll keep, keep working with him, get him comfortable doing it. He needs to start using it. We talked about it when he came out and he, you know, he agreed. Um, so we're going to get him in the bullpen and, and get him to, to really uh, work on it and, and, and show him and talk to him about when it's, when it's effective. Awesome, man. I, I can't, you know, I, like I can't say enough about our fans. I love our fans. I mean, um, they come and they're here. They're supporting us, and that means a lot to me and the, and the guys. So, um, it's it's he, it's getting heated up. The summer's, you know, summer's here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of, you know, a lot of fun. These guys. You know, one thing I can tell you about, you know, and I'll tell the fans all this. These guys play hard, and um, and they want they want to win, and they go out there and play every day. Go one and zero. So, um, we appreciate the fans. It was a good weekend. Uh, good, good series for us. Uh, you know, now we're going to get help on a train and, and uh, hopefully we'll want to know tomorrow against the Mets. Uh, I knew, I knew that about right when he was done. <laughs> um, he's, he was really good. That's awesome. So we're going to get him back. He's, he's going to uh, get here, get him on the train with us. He's going to New York to throw a bullpen. Uh, we'll see how he feels and like, and then we'll make a decision where he's going next. But um, if he feels good, you know, I can tell you now that we'll probably send him to Rochester because it's, it's close. Um, so, but uh, it was awesome. It was great news to hear that. It really was. So, um, hey, look, you know, building blocks, right? We're, you know, uh, one day closer. That's where I would say one day closer. So we'll see, uh, we'll see um, how he feels tomorrow and then we'll go from there.